<laughs> so full disclaimer, I'm definitely not ordering this statue, but it's not because it's not beautiful, it's because of the sheer size of any of these Prime 1 Predator pieces. I mean, they're all humongous, and they come with a humongous price tag. <laughs> but that's not gonna stop me from going through pictures and talking about it with you guys. So, Scar Predator. The fourth in this Prime 1 one third Predator line. Let's get the gavel out. <laughs> clicked on Gotham Cenobites. I'm Terry. And love or hate this movie. Love or hate the way they look. I mean they were definitely you know I was a kid watching Predator 1 and 2 and then just seeing the way they looked in this movie kind of caught me off guard at first because they're just so <laughs> tight. <laughs> but um, once you get past it I mean I think it's a great movie. I do remember being a kid thinking there's three Predators in this movie, finally. One Predator and Predator 1 and 2 do this much damage to these motherfuckers. Imagine when there's three. Fuck yes. And then two of them die. <laughs> Back to one. But um, I have always been a fan of this movie. Sure, it should have been more gory. It should have been rated R. It should have been better. But this movie as a whole to me is very nostalgic. Um, it's the first one I saw in theaters. Um, I love this movie. And this statue we're about to talk about looks fantastic. And one of the last pictures we're going to look at today, you're going to see they've already announced, or they've shown, the three brothers together. I assume they're brothers. They all look the same, you know, body-wise. But, um, so this is Scar Prisoner. But I think the other one is Chopper and... Celtic, however you choose to pronounce that word. Um, so all three of them were shown. Um, Scar is definitely probably number one on everybody's list of those three. But you can bet they're probably going to release all three of them. So one of the last few pictures we're going to look at is the three brothers. But um, today is going to be all about Scar. And I wasn't doing these Gotham Gavel videos when the the first three in this line were announced so the one of the first pictures um, we're going to look at those previous three predators in this line and towards the end we're going to look at their pricing and we're going to look at it compared to this new one but um so without further ado um today we're going to take an in-depth look at some pictures of score predator um pre-order is tonight in the u.s um, then we're going to look at, like we always do, um, the specs and the price. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into pictures. Alright, so getting into pictures, like I said, this first picture is um, the Jungle Hunter, um, the City Hunter, which is my favorite, and Berserker from the uh, Predators movie where they're on the planet. Um, I just wanted to show these three because, like I said, um, I wasn't doing these videos or these type of videos when these were announced. Um, Jungle Hunter is already in a ton of people's homes. Um, besides, you know, the price and the weight, I haven't really heard any um, bad things said about Jungle Hunter. Um, I think it's going to be here soon. In the next couple months, we're going to start seeing, well, at least hopefully, people are going to start getting City Hunter um, in hand and as far as looks um, of any Predator um, 
Predator's looks, I mean his his skin, the way his, his head is done, and just the overall feel of the movie. I mean, Predator 2 is my favorite Predator and Predator movie, as it were. But then Berserker, um, we kind of introduced to what I've always referred to as like a different subspecies. I, mean, I don't know how to compare it to humanity, but the Predators and Predators are definitely... Uh, I, mean, I don't even know if I should go there, but definitely like a, like a different race of predators, where it's like it's the same species, but a different race. But, um, I mean, that's the only way I have a good thing to describe it, but then the predators and predators, <laughs> they all look different, um, they look amazing, and this berserker predator is definitely going to be outstanding um, next to these two. It's going to be great. So that's the first three um, releases, but we're going to get into what y'all came here for, and that is the Scar Predator from Alien vs. Predator. <sighs> when I was showing this video last night, my first thought, I think was like a lot of people, were, if you're going to do these three, and they're probably going to take their time releasing them, let's please, please, I hope Wolf is coming. And again, I'm not going to order them, I just, I just love Predator, I love seeing them in people's collection, and uh, I, I hope you guys get the Wolf Predator. So on to these first picture, um, I got a nice um, sh full body shot, and this is definitely going to be, I mean if you look you know, at the other three, um, this is definitely going to be some of the most elaborate um, bases, I mean I, I just I love all the, you know, the architecture from the pyramid and the movie. And this next slot you can see more um, of the same base, those pillars behind him. Um, yeah, this whole this whole shop looks amazing. <laughs> here's the uh, here's the back of it, and yeah, I mean it's just it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's, if anything, the setting of this movie is, is one of the best. And you can see these the pillars kind of resemble um, the aliens <laughs> they're hunting in, in the present. But um, next slot. A nice close-up uh, body shot of, uh, of the Scar Predator, and this thing is going. I hope it's to scale of the other ones, because you would think by the way they look, this one should be should be the biggest one in the line so far. Um, this next shot is a uh, of the <laughs> the mask unmasked shot, and this is um, the revamped. They announced yesterday in the video they had reworked this head. And the next couple shots you're gonna see. I mean, this one here is is a nice lit, you know, menacing shot. And I mean, the face. I mean, it looks different than the other predators, but I mean, the movie looked different than the other predators. But this looks straight off the screen. He looks amazing, in my opinion. And this next shot right here is just uh, without the lighting, you can really see every every detail. And yeah, I mean, this this guy. It's going to be amazing. And me, myself personally, if I had any Predator statues, I mean, I'd, I probably would have the statue, have the mask on, and then like the little headstands be where I display a head like this. But getting on in, um, this is a nice close up shot of like his waist, and you can see that little circle disc thing. I can only assume is the big boomerang um, looking disc thing that he throws around and kills a few aliens with. And just this next shot too, I mean this base is going to be one of the, I'm telling you it's going to be like one of the best in the line so far. But we see here the alien head that he cuts off in the movie. Here's a nice big you know, pan out shot of the uh, of the base. You can see it's, it's definitely, it's got the most going on so far in my opinion. The two, uh, the dead alien pieces and the, the face hugger. And just the greens really bring out the color. I mean, it's not just some dull <laughs> black wash, you know. So this shot here is um, just a whole, you know, view of the statue. And a nice little headstand you're going to get for your second head. Because, again, we are looking at the regular first. But, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be amazing. This, this thing is pretty wide. <laughs> we'll get to the uh, measurements here soon. But, um, I know... A lot of people don't like these things, but I wanted to show it because I'm going to show the other one. The other one looks better in my opinion. 
but this is the nameplate. All of these predators come with a nameplate, but the good thing about them is is they're definitely removable and they don't you know leave a hole. I mean, you can definitely display them or not. But this is another thing that's going to come with. This is the knife and sheath. That's how you say that. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys everything this thing is going to come with up close before we get to that backup shot. But here is the only um, spear you call it that um that this one's going to come with is fully um uh, extracted <laughs> if you want to say that um a nice left hand um swap out with that boomerang disc that we were just talking about and then it only comes with one set of claws and there's the name blade again and this one is a close-up shot of just showing you everything that lights up on this statue <sighs> and then we have the uh, nice pan out of um, everything this thing is going to come with. Um, we just, I don't know if I even talked about the heads. I don't know why I didn't have the head, but it, it, this one's going to come with the um, the mask portrait, obviously, with the scar, and then that unmasked that we saw again with the scar. But then that same picture of the LED illumination, and then of course you see it there in the center, it's going to come with one additional headstand for your additional head sculpt. But now, we are getting into the uh, deluxe, and here you see, right off the bat, you see it has a longer claw and a third head sculpt, fully extended mandibles. Um, he looks pissed. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into this next picture of a nice, well, well done close-up shot of this thing. <sighs> and then here you see a little bit further back shot. And yeah, I mean, I, this is probably, if I were to display it unmasked, this is definitely, you know, the one. And here is another close-up shot of that. And yeah, I mean, this, 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 it's really, really, really well done. Here you're going to see, it's going to come, you know, of course, as a third head, so you're going to need a second headstand. So this is just it showing you, um, that's going to come with two headstands. And then this here is another, some of the, the same shot we already saw, but you see right off the bat, the top left, you can see it's going to come with two nameplates like the Deluxe always does. Um, it's going to come with a fully retracted spear, and then it's going to come with three different size claws, and then of course you see a bunch of different hand swap outs. And then they have this nice uh, pan out of the screaming portrait on the statue. And the two headstands next to it, just so you can see kind of the size comparison. <laughs> and then again, I got this this shot here because I like this nameplate a lot better. I think it goes more well well done with the statue, and it's black like the base. So yeah, just seeing this next picture right here on on the statue, it looks much better um, black with the silver letters, in my opinion. But here you're going to see uh, before we get into the the pan out on um, this is just everything it comes with and you see what's pretty cool here is that top left picture the fully re you know retracted uh, spear you see it's just gonna clip right on his back so I mean that's pretty cool and then you see all three heads right next to each other and then instead of showing you that picture previously of everything just thrown out showing you all these pictures here or all of those switch routes um, in motion or on the statue as it were before we get into this one, which is pretty much identical to that last slide. <laughs> but this right one here is just showing you everything the Deluxe is going to come with. Um, but alas, it's Prime 1 and they want more of your money. So, the Deluxe bonus version, as you see here. And I think this is a really well done um, bonus. Um, just looking at this shot here, you're going to see it's going to come with a mask pre-scar so it's pretty cool um because i mean if you're going to display these three predators together it's not going to make sense that he has the scar i mean it, it wouldn't matter to me but i know there's some people out there that are going to that's going to drive them crazy so now you have the option of having the mask with no scar and then two pretty cool go to the next shot so you see the mask with no scar you see a left and a right hand switch out he's holding that alien tongue and then actually holding 
um, that dagger that we saw in that previous shot. And then this, these next couple, I'm just showing you um, some pictures of the statue with the switch out. Um, you see here it's the scarless face with the dagger in hand. And this next one, uh, more of the same. Close up shot, the dagger in hand, and the helmet with no scar. And then a nice close up of this bonus head. I mean, this one's always been reminiscent to me of the Jungle Hunter. Of course, he's more beefy. <clears throat> and here's a nice shot of that same mask without all the extra <laughs> lighting and Photoshop on him. And then these last couple pictures, I just want to show you. The one on the left, I believe, is Chopper. And the one in the center here, which you kind of feel like a, him being in the center, that he's probably like the, the more experienced predator. But I mean, you say that and he's like the first one to go, but I think he's the first one to die. But yeah, the one in the center is the Celtic. And I'm again, I'm very, I'm very much assuming that these are you know, a pack of brothers. But yeah, here's another shot of these three predators, and I'm digging the chopper. You know, now that I'm seeing this more than I more than I thought it was. But yeah, so this last shot is just showing you those three statues again, all on display, and you see Celtic in the middle. Man, he's gonna come with a lot of skulls. But yeah, these three, um, they they've been on display before at a con. God, I want to say it was last December, but it may have been earlier this year. So they've all been on display together. It's just taken this long to get the pre-order up. Alright, All right, so before we get into measurements and price of this Scar Predator, I wanted to kind of show you guys kind of in line um, with pricing. And the prices I'm going to show you for these next uh, three Predators are, just keep in mind that it's the highest tier of each statue that I'm going to show you. So right here we see the Jungle Hunter which was announced first. The highest tier deluxe bonus is $29.99. So right off the bat you can tell these are for a different class of collector. The City Hunter and again it's ultimate bonus and I'm going to show you a picture here of why it's this much and what all it comes with that you could think justifies this price or not but the ultimate bonus of the city hunter that comes with all of the trophies is $55.99 so right off the bat I was pissed because this is my favorite predator and it's got to be the one with the biggest fucking price tag so there's no one-offs for me <clears throat> but the latest one um, until tonight um, the berserker predator the deluxe bonus of that one is $34.99. And again, why was the City Hunter this expensive? And this next slide is going to show you. This is everything it comes with. This is all the trophies from the spaceship. And just keep in mind, these are all one-third scale as well. And as you see, this is it on display in a comic shop. And you can just tell these trophies are fucking humongous so does it justify to you personally another two fucking thousand dollars i do not think so the um absolute economy poor man's edition of city hunter is i believe it was 27.99 but this is the highest scale of it. it comes with all these trophies it's just you're gonna have to pay fifty six hundred dollars before tax shipping or whatever depending on where you buy it <sighs> all right so now we're gonna get into scar predator and as you see here the uh regular edition as always edition size to be announced it's coming in at 29.99 the, oh, the, the deluxe bonus version um, you saw with the extra head and all those extra swap outs is coming in at $35.99. So me personally, if you back up and you see that Berserker was $34.99, and then you see how, in my opinion, much more extravagant this thing's base is, this Predator should be bigger than the Berserker Predator um, scale-wise. I mean, 
if you remember the movies, they should be at least the same height. But this one, this discard predator is definitely beefier. So it should be a bigger predator. So having said that, I believe it's worth an extra $100 off the Berserker. I think the price of this one is right in line um, to what they're going for. I probably would expect all of three of these brothers from this movie to be around this same price, unfortunately. So you're going to have to spend about $11,000 to get the three Predators from Alien vs. Predator. This one, though, is coming in with an addition size of 300 now the measurements, you see the picture on the right, 93 centimeters tall is 36, roughly 36 and a half inches tall. So he's three feet tall, 85 centimeters wide. This thing is 33 and a half centimeters wide. I mean, 33 and a half inches wide, 91 centimeters deep. So this thing is about 30. 5.8 inches deep. Whew. So man, this thing is going to be humongous. Alright, so this is where I'm going to hand you guys the gavel. You let me know your thoughts, your comments, what you think of this piece, what you think of this release. Um, are you like me and you think the price is high? But, I mean, these things appeal to a certain collector, and th that collector has been paying these prices. So for me, I feel like if it's something you love, and you're able to, please don't put yourself in debt for this shit. But um, if it's something you love, um, you're going to find a way. I mean, I sit here and say I can't afford these things, but then you see, if I were to get rid of all three of those statues, that's a predator. <laughs> but this IP is just not that important to me um, if I could own one in this whole line it would be City Hunter I don't particularly need all the trophies but that would be the one that I would want because it's the movie I grew up watching before I saw the first one so <sighs> it's definitely I think has the stamp of approval for me um, it's a great looking piece um, the price seems in line um, it's not for me personally, but um, I know a few guys out there who are going to get it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys get it, hopefully within two years. Um, and yeah, just seeing y'all's reaction, seeing it displayed with the others, I can't wait for that. So you guys, you let me know um, what you think of it. Um, I know a lot of you probably think it's not worth it, but it's just, like I said, it appeals to a certain type of collector but um that is going to do it for this episode of the gotham gavel um if you've made it this far please go ahead and hit the like button um if you enjoyed this video and uh subscribe if you want to um i know i've been plugging it for a while but that giveaway is bound to happen sooner or later <laughs> but um, i do appreciate you guys watching um, as always, thank you so much, and no matter what it is, I will catch you on the next one. Peace. So what's up, everybody? Did you hit that subscribe button? Why not? We're giving away these five books. I'm about to pull over my face. We're giving away all five of these books. Um, the four of the metal books put up by me. The fifth, the uh, Batman Who Laughs book, put up by the, the very kind and and gracious uh, Steve over at Casual Nerd Problems. And not only did he come in clutch with this fifth book, The Batman Who Laughs, that immediately picked up after the metal event, but he also went out and got it signed, here you see, by Scott Snyder. Big thank you to you, Steve. Thank you so much for always being there. Thank you so much for supporting me as much as you have. It is awesome that you gave up that book was signed for this giveaway so stick around um, like this video subscribe and uh, we're gonna go live once we hit 500 subscribers on both channels here at Gotham Cinebytes and over at Steve, uh, casual casual nerd problems so um, subscribe to both that way you have double the notifications whenever that video does go live as always I appreciate you for watching I appreciate everybody who subscribes you might as well 
get you all five of these books. So yeah, thank you so much. Stick around for that giveaway.